Well, good morning. This is Liddell Moore bringing you another video this morning. Uh, the task at hand today, uh, as you've seen on the last video that we done, we done a video on the uh, removal of the stump jumper on that uh, uh, hardy boom mower, and also we uh, removed the blades on it. So after we uh, got it off and I pressure washed it, I done a little bit closer inspection on it, and I'm going to flip this camera around and let you guys see what I found that's going on with the stump jumper itself. Okay. So right here, after we done a little bit closer inspection on it, right here where you, my finger is, you guys, you can see a, a crack in it. This crack looks like it's probably about, a, about an inch and a half in diameter. If I lay my finger across it from one end to the other, it's probably about a good full joint. So it's maybe about a inch and a quarter to an inch and a half long so i'm gonna wind up having to take it on out there to the guy that does my welding for me and let him go ahead and weld that up before i put this thing back on there uh one other thing that uh i'm gonna do is uh these legs that come off of it this one right here if you can see it's got a bow in it it don't sit perfectly flat whenever you send it on the uh on the ground or on the cement so I'm gonna get him to heat that up and uh, straighten that out for me also. And uh, also let's walk over here to where the tractor is. And I'm gonna show you a gauge that uh, need to be replaced on here. Um, this gauge right here, I think I'm gonna get close enough to where you guys can see it. Uh, that gauge right there, Whenever I was running it, doing that test running on it, it never did move off of this part, this white part here. It should run somewhere in this, in that green when it's normally running. And what it does is it's an indicator to let you know when it's time to change this, uh, this hydraulic uh, filter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, order that. Also, uh, I already got the, uh, the bolts, nuts, and washers ordered to go back in the stump jumper on the blades so it's gonna be Tuesday before they ship that out so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call Tuesday morning first thing and have them to add that on to it also I need to find out uh, what I need to put on these threads here when I get ready to put this thing back together as far as the uh, as far as the uh, Jump jumper goes itself. They told me that to put Loctite on the bolts, uh, they go on the blades and torque them down to uh, 600 pounds. Uh, they told me I could use uh, Never Seize on this, but I need to find out whenever I call them to find out what I need to put on these threads of this. Yeah, probably just maybe just a small, small uh, uh, smidgen of oil just to get it on there and pull it down tight and then put a, a new uh, carter pin in it. Uh, that's something else I need to give them to send me while I, I'm ordering that gauge, a uh, new carter pin. But anyway, uh, once we uh, get all that stuff uh, ordered and get it back here to the house, uh, probably about this weekend coming up, hopefully we'll have everything that we're gonna need to go ahead and uh, put this thing back together once we get that put back on and everything, uh, this uh, boom mower is gonna be uh, be ready to go. Uh, I've, <clears throat> I've been went through it and fixed everything that need to be taken care of. So I should be able to get a good long run out of it without having to do anything else to it. All right, people, we back. You just wanna come out here and show you what I've done off camper, camera here. Uh, as you can see, I done painted the underside of this in deck here, uh, red, where to match the, uh, the rest of the uh, uh, boom mower. And uh, also right here on this little rubber right here, uh, it had and got damaged whenever I was using it the first time. And uh, part of, a portion of it got underneath the cutter and uh, wind up uh, cutting it. So anyway, uh, I wind up taking that back off 
and uh, go ahead and trim it back up so it'll be square. So as you can look down here, you can see it's probably, I'm gonna say maybe about three quarters of an inch to an inch shorter, which uh, that'd be okay. It's not gonna hurt anything like that. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on what we're looking like so far on this uh, boom mode. All right, people, we're back. I'm just here going to show you what we're going to be working with whenever we get ready to uh, put this thing back together. These here are the, the new bolts, nuts, and washers that's going to uh, go into these uh, blades right here. And this is going to be the new uh, uh, carter pin that's going to be going in it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what I got, what we got going on. But anyway, uh, that's going to uh, do it for uh, right now. We still wait on that uh, uh, stump jumper uh, to get lined up. The guy that I got this uh, supposed to be working on, I mean, he he got some issues going on with his back right now. And as soon as he feel up to it, he gonna go ahead and uh, get that uh, stump jumper welded up for me as well as uh, heat that one leg up and get it straightened out for me. And uh, we'll be ready to put all this in uh, back on the uh, boom board. So uh, y'all just stay tuned uh, to it. And uh, once we get all that back, we're going to go ahead and put these blades on. So y'all just stay tuned.